Uh, yeah, hey, this is Eli. What's going on, guys? Hey, hey, Eli. Um, and uh, we just got talk, done talking with Paul, and it was great. I mean, how's how's um everything been going with you? Oh, it's good. It's good. You know, a lot of work and a lot of waiting, but we're just trying to uh, put the show together Friday, and it's all coming along really nice. It's going to be a great show. And are you very excited about the show coming up? It seemed like Paul was very excited about it. Oh no, I, I just I can't even wait. I've never played for that many people before, so it should be a rush. You're originally from Wisconsin, right? Yeah. Yeah, and right up, um, right up know, in the Thumb, Door County. Yeah, um, and then and then you you um, basically did you go to Chicago just to become a piano player? Um, yeah, I went on tour down south of the country band for a while and uh, got some shops down there, and then went to Chicago, played the piano lounge circuit for a few years, and then um, uh, headed back to Wisconsin and played more coffee houses. <laughs> how how um, and Eli, how's um? I'm trying to think of what I was going to ask you. Um, basically, uh, what was it like being on that stage um, right at the finals between you, which, and it was between you and... Um, um, oh, 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 Neil. Yeah, Neil. You and Neil yeah. at the end of that, and just being very, very nervous to find out, you know, who won it. Oh, yeah, no, I was, I was actually really hoping that he'd take it. Uh, it, was, it, was worth, it was worth watching his face when he won, you know. It was just great. And, uh, and what is it... Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, what's that? I was going to say, what, what, does it, what, does it, what does it mean to you to have Sharon say Elton John was watching you? Oh, man, that was a trip. I, uh, I'm, I'm just glad they told me that after the performance and not before. So, I mean, have, have, have you gotten any acknowledgement from, from, uh, from Elton yet or anything like that? No, I haven't. Um, I, you know? and, um, I heard he was on vacation uh, most of the showtime and all that, but... Um, he did check out. I heard he did check out that one performance when I did Sorry, and it's just oh, it's it's amazing that I might be in the back of Elton John's head somewhere. Like he actually knows my name. That's that's amazing. Would you would you love to be able to perform one night maybe with Elton John? Oh yeah, if I could get past breathing while uh, uh, I was meeting him, I would <laughs> have to uh, yeah, get past that. Then I think I I'd be comfortable, you know, doing a gig. And how influential was he was he to your music? I'm sorry, what's that? Uh, how influ how influential was he to to your music? Oh, um, at least you know a good sixty percent, you know, between him and Billy Joel. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, no, I uh, started listening to him when I was a kid, and just uh, yeah, like I said on the show, I just got hooked and just uh, started playing and learning his songs and. Yeah, no, he's he's just he's my hero, you know. And what was this what was this process like for you to be able to go through go through all this? Um, and basically, um, from what Paul was saying, that you guys have all basically kind of bonded because this is the same process every single week. Oh, yeah. What was it like, kind of meeting all these all these talented people? It was a lot like the best summer camp ever. It was, uh, we just uh, we just started hanging out and in waiting rooms all all day, you know, and just sit there and talk and really really learn, you know, who people are, and now we're all just kind of like family. Um, that's great. It's, it's going to be great great to have all you guys there. Um, I, do have, I do have a caller for you, uh, Eli. She's a huge fan of yours. Um, let's see if he and her are on. Kismet, are you there? Yes, I am here. Hello, Eli. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. This is Kismet. I've been a big fan of yours. I, I wrote you a poem on your MySpace page, and I bought all your music that was available for purchase. And oh, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, playing it on my radio show. I have a show here, too, on Blog Talk. And i got to tell you, I, 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 I Play Smile is like my favorite Smile. song in, oh, in the whole world. Oh, thank you so much. World. That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. You're you're just amazing. Your music is just just awe inspired me. I just try to tell you. And uh, when I uh, when you walked out on the screen of my TV the first day on America's Got Talent, the very first time, when you walked out there, I said, "This guy right there is going to be in the finals." And I kept that <laughs> I kept that tape of of you, of you dude walking in Memphis, and that was just so freaking amazing. You just you just blew my mind, dude. You just Oh, really, thanks so much, honey. No, that was a that was a good day. 
Yes, you're you're great. And I I'm so glad I got I am so glad I was here for your call. I just thank you so much. You just just keep on keeping on, man, because you're you're oh, of awesome. Course, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh -huh, <laughs> bye. Okay, oh no worries. Bye. What's it Eli, what's it like and gonna be like to be able to play on the trip? Um, oh that's just gonna be unreal. I um you know, we're sitting here at the airport just waiting to go over there and uh, check out the stage. And it's, uh, you know, like I said before, you know, just playing for that many people and, and in Las Vegas is, um, you know, it's just a big old dream come true. I love um, it. Do you, do, you have, do you have any plans after after this performance? Um, any any um, any hopes of maybe playing Vegas or playing elsewhere? Well, I, you know, I hope uh, sooner than later just to get on the road. You know, I'm, I really love traveling. I want to, you know, get on a bus and just do shows across the country and, you know, hopefully someday play around the world if I ever can. And really hope people just keep listening to the music and, you know, as long as they enjoy it, I'll keep playing, you know. Yeah, one last question, Eli. What, um, sure. What's it with the hat? You always seem to wear a hat when you're on stage. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I wear a hat all the time. Uh, since I was about eight years old, I started wearing hats. And, yeah, no, I, I actually, like, took my hair down pretty short for the most part, and the show had me grow it out. And I still wear my hat, but uh, I figured for the finale I took it off that one time, and uh, so I figured now I'll go back and forth. But yeah, the hat—I don't know—it's always just kind of a security blanket, I guess, for me. Um, and I think I actually have one more question: what, what, what did you feel about all this, all the audience, and all the support that you've been getting throughout the throughout the whole competition? Oh, it's, it's just been overwhelming, and it, it really, really moves me. It's. Uh, I didn't know what I did had such an effect on people before, and it really, I just appreciate it so much and try to say, you know, thank you as often as I can to everybody that's ever listened to me or stopped on the street. And uh, Yeah, I don't know, the, um, the fans are the best. You know, they're the whole reason we're here. Yeah, okay, that's, that's absolutely great. Um, we'll get, let you uh, get back to your flight, but thanks a lot for calling in, Eli. I'll, I'll message you on the... Uh, I'll message you on the MySpace uh, of where the archive can be found on the show. So, uh, thanks oh, a lot right. for, for thanks a lot for calling in. Hey, thank you so much. Okay, thanks a lot, Eli. All right, sure. Cheers. Bye.